Welcome back to the launch pad. Well, Boeing Starliner is delayed yet again. The Starliner spacecraft was placed atop its ride to space, the Atlas V rocket, in the ULA Vertical Integration Facility. Boeing and ULA were targeting a launch in early August, but a problem was detected after the rocket was rolled out to the pad and a severe storm went through. Starliner was rolled back to the ULA VIF building so the team could evaluate the problems and attempt to fix any issues. On Monday, August 9th, Boeing released an official statement sharing that the launch of Starliner was scrubbed due to 13 valves in its propulsion system failing to open during pre-flight testing, a much larger and more widespread issue than they had reported days earlier. Over the next week, engineers were able to open and restore service to all but four of the broken valves. Ultimately, Boeing scheduled today a teleconference and made the official announcement that they are standing down from any future launch windows to allow others fill those launch window places. Starliner will now be removed from the Atlas V rocket and will be sent back to the factory for repair or replacement of the other four valves and any other issues. With the first orbital flight test having gone not to plan, they need this one to go perfectly to be able to proceed with their crewed test flight next. The International Space Station is very busy and all its docking ports starting next month are busy with cargo missions, the Crew 2 and 3 exchange, and more, so Boeing may not get an opportunity now to fly until next year. They say they are hopeful that they could launch by the end of the month, but with today's announcement, that's definitely not possible. And NASA's commercial crew program manager confirmed this during the teleconference, saying that today's delay definitely moves Starliner's Orbital Flight Test 2 to the other side of another mission called Lucy, which is scheduled to launch on October 16th. So Boeing has two months to get Starliner operational back to the launch site for preparations if a launch window can be organized. During the NASA teleconference, the Vice President and Program Manager of Boeing stated his teams have exhausted every possible option while Starliner was still stacked on the rocket to try to restore the malfunctioning valves, so they wouldn't have to move it back to the processing facility. He also shared his engineers are seeing some more pre-meeting of the oxidizer through some of the seals in the valves themselves, resulting in corrosion of nitric acid. Many questions were asked during the teleconference, and the Boeing VP said in response to one of them, that at this point, they can't say whether it's a redesign or whether it's some preventative measures that they need to work out with their vendor, Aerojet Rocketdyne, to resolve these issues. Starliner did sit out on the pad for a couple of days and was not protected during a severe storm that went through. The Boeing VP shared that the Starliner team did not expect as severe of a thunderstorm as they did get after rolling it out to the pad. No damage from lightning, but there was a very close strike to the pad. The storm was severe enough to disrupt some of the thrusters' coverings, which did allow some of the water to enter. The water intrusion through the thrusters was not the issue that they saw in the valves, so those are two now unrelated issues. The moisture they saw in the valves was from atmospheric humidity. The Boeing team following the storm went through all protocol to ensure the rocket and the capsule were safe and no damage from the close strike. There were many other questions asked during the teleconference, so if you'd like to listen to the full teleconference, the link is in the description. That's all for this update, but be sure to engage that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss another TLP Space News update or anything else space here on the Launchpad. This is Zach, signing off.